The Electronic Entertainment Expo, the oh-so-wonderful event that everyone eagerly awaits to be disappointed by every single year. It's the event that everyone in the gaming industry, from consumers to journalists and even absolute losers like myself, just can't wait for. Because it means we get to see the big reveals of all the brand spanking new games. It makes us laugh, it makes us cry, and most importantly, it makes us wish we were dead. If this is a MOBA, I quit life. Oh I've made a video about E3 for the last two years, so at this point, it's practically a tradition for me to end up making a video about it. So without further ado, get ready for your yearly dose of video game industry cringe. First up, Electronic Arts. This conference fucking sucked. EA had practically nothing that interested me because half of the goddamn conference, they yet again just talked about sports and esports, sports with stories. I don't care. I don't care about Mass Effect and Andromeda. I don't care about Star Wars. I don't care about Battlefield 1. He doesn't know what he's doing. Look at he's, he's <laughs> No, he's fucking smoking weed right now. There he is. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> Though I will admit that the Titanfall trailer did look pretty neat, and I also thought that that Fey game looked nice as well. Overall grade, D minus. Next, Bethesda. Oh, cool! Opening with a quick re- Oh, it's an Overwatch clone. No one wants to play your shitty card game, and no one wanted Skyrim Remastered either. Oh my god, my nice eyes. ENB. Elder Scrolls Online, more like, I don't fucking care. But you know what I do care about? Pray! Nope. What? Pray! Pray? Are you serious? Oh god. Pray oh to Oh my god! My god. THEY BROUGHT IT BACK! Oh, and Dishonored 2 looks pretty good as well. Also, there was some Doom DLC, but Dishonored 2, dude! Bethesda, See, mm. now on to day two. Microsoft, oh how I love to hate you, Microsoft. But hey, you weren't completely awful this year. You dropped the price of the Xbox One, made it smaller, you showed some ReCore gameplay, some We Happy Few gameplay, Dead Rising 4, State of Decay 2, Inside, you announced a Gwent standalone, which I actually really want, and that Sea of Thieves gameplay looked pretty cool when I tried to ignore the cringy Let's Play commentary that accompanied it. <laughs> but the rest of the conference? Oh god, sure. Tekken 7 looked awesome, but I wish I could actually see the gameplay. The same thing happened with Gears of War and Forza. I don't give a shit about these games, but I still wanted to see how shit they were. As for the rest, Killer Instinct's got some dumb DLC. Final Fantasy had an awful gameplay demo. Could the guy on stage not be shit? John Carmack sold his soul to Minecraft. No! no. John Carmack! No. John! John, no! I don't care about Halo Wars, I don't care about the Xbox experience or a customizable controller, and yet again, Scalebound absolutely failed to impress me. Keep the heart. Well, if only you were attacking the heart. Oh, Project Scorpio. Microsoft, just admit it, you, you lost this console generation. D+. Plus. The PC Gaming Conference was way better than last year's, because this time around, they actually had interesting games to show. Right off the bat, Dawn of War 3, which looks awesome. There was also some Bannerlords gameplay. Lawbreakers even looked pretty cool. I also liked Tyranny, Observer, The Turing Test, Day of Infamy is becoming a standalone, and the creators of Life is Strange are making a game that actually looks like a game. It, it looks clunky, but fucking A, dude, I wanna play Vampire. Of course, there was some gimmicky VR stuff, and the obligatory AMD shilling, but generally, I enjoyed watching this conference. Well, I didn't necessarily enjoy every video game they showed, they still had a ton of them. I won't go through every single game in this video, but here's a list of the rest of the games they showed. Solid B for this one. Now up next, the holy grail of cringe, Ubisoft. You do it every time, Ubisoft. I love you, and I hate you. Never change. It may have co-op, but this game looks boring as fuck. The Division also sucks. The South Park game looks like it'll be fun, I guess. I don't care about an Assassin's Creed movie. Go away. This Star Trek VR thing, this is just a gimmick. And what the fuck was this? This doesn't look like it even needs VR. Grow Up looks fine, I guess. And I actually already played Trials of the Blood Dragon. It was okay. As for Watch Dogs 2, it looks improved, but it's gonna be shit. There were really only two games at the Ubisoft conference that actually intrigued me. The first, of course, being For Honor, because I'm a sucker for medieval fantasy games, and the second being Steep, because honestly, it's just nice to see a change of pace from open world shooters or RPGs. It's been a while since I played a good snowboarding game in the style of SSX, so I'm excited, but I'm also extremely skeptical because of just how many times I've been burned by Ubisoft games. C minus for Ubisoft. And now, the moment every Sony fanboy has been waiting to hear, the Sony conference was great! Cause let me just get this out of the way. 
Crash fucking Pandicoot, dude! Thank you, Allah. I have been waiting for this moment for years. It might not be Crash 3, but holy shit, the first video game I ever played is getting remastered. Last Guardian got a release date. Horizon Zero Dawn looks right as hell. Kojima's next game looks like a Kojima game. And what the fuck? Resident Evil 7 is a horror game? What? 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 Whoa! 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 Whoa. Whoa. Okay, what's Whoa. going on? Dude, that new God of War looks, well, slower, and the camera felt a bit too zoomed in, and yes, it looked good, but something about it just irked me. I kind of feel the same way about Days Gone, because yes, that zombie simulation was incredible, but it's probably just going to be another zombie-esque game like The Last of Us. Again, that's not a bad thing, but I've already played The Last of Us. There was also another David Cage game, which I'm more than likely not going to play. A surprisingly good looking VR game, and also a bunch of mediocre ones. But hey, the headset is half the price of a Vive. The new Call of Duty as well, Call of Duty in space, and you won't fool me with that COD 4 shader. I also just don't care about Skylanders, I don't care about LEGO Star Wars, but I do care about a Spider-Man game made by Insomniac. And there was also this game called Bound that was shown in the final reel, but honestly, I think it deserved an actual time slot in the conference. You should check it out, because it looks awesome. I give the Sony conference an A minus. It was an extremely well put together conference, but every game that was shown didn't completely hook me. Oh, and I almost forgot about Nintendo, or well, Zelda, because that's really all they showed this year at the Treehouse. Now, I hate to sound like a fanboy, but oh my gosh, Breath of the Wild looks amazing. Practically everything about this game appeals to me. The vast open world, the exploration, and those climbing mechanics, dude. You can climb on anything. This is something that I have always wanted from a video game, so correct me if I'm wrong, but the only two games I can think of that have had something remotely similar are Shadow of the Colossus and Dragon's Dogma. I just want to go to sleep, wake up in 2017, and play this game, dude, because I am so hyped. And that about wraps up everything I have to say about E3. Overall, I've seen worse conferences, but in comparison to last year, this one was still pretty good.